So tonight is some NXT like awards show. They're giving away a bunch of awards, isn't that right? I think that's what uh, is happening. So that won't be anything that we really need to, you know, talk about too much. And uh, last night's Raw was a best of. And I think this uh, Friday SmackDown is a best of. So I don't have to watch any WWE all week, which is ironic because I watched WWE all week when I was on vacation. Now I don't have to watch it. So anyway, we do have the New Year's Smash edition of Dynamite, which is coming up in Orlando uh, on December 27th, which is close enough to New Year's, I guess. We've got the Continental Classic Gold League Finals. It is John Moxley, Jay White, and Swerve in a three-way to determine the winner of the Gold League. We have the finals of the Blue League, which is Brian Danielson versus Eddie Kingston. And we have MJF and Samoa Joe defending against the Devil's henchmen. And Keith Lee will also appear because on uh, Collision this week, believe it or not, they, uh, they actually hinted that we might finally... Get Keith Lee versus Swerve Strickland, which was a match they built and built and built to a year ago and then completely dropped. And now we may be going back to it. So that is the lineup for Wednesday. Who do you think is winning these two matches, Tom? These these uh, these league matches. There are a lot of possibilities. Very intriguing the way it's all set up because there's multiple storylines that you can look at no matter who comes out the winner should it be an all bcc final with moxley and danielson could you imagine brian danielson taking those triple crown belts to japan and defending them against kazuchika okada at wrestle kingdom could you imagine john moxley walking in to the international title, the first IWGP international title match with those three belts as well, and maybe creating some sort of Grand Slam championship? Is this Jay White's chance to get back into New Japan by winning these titles and then having the key to defending them? Does he defeat Eddie Kingston to do so? The very man who took him out of New Japan and the only man who could get him back in or has this whole thing been a setup for Eddie Kingston to realize his goal his lifelong dream of honoring all Japan's finest moments and bringing King's Road to the USA and being the first ever modern American Triple Crown champion I think that's where we're headed, is in the latter. Well, Tom, I will give you my prediction here. Which actually, I got predictions for two of the the big things here. Actually, I got predictions for everything they've announced. So I believe that in the Continental Classic Gold League Finals, John Moxley is going to win the Gold League. I I agree. And I think afterwards, I think Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland are going to have a brawl to set up a match at World's End. I believe in the Blue League Finals, Eddie Kingston will beat Brian Danielson. That means the finals of the tournament will be Eddie Kingston versus John Moxley. The storyline being that Eddie has beaten everybody in the Blackpool Combat Club, and there's one more to go. And he will beat him, and Eddie Kingston will become the winner and the new Triple Crown champion. So I agree with you on that one there, absolutely. Because, I mean, I don't know if the announcers really know what's going on, but the announcers did make this comment that you realize that, you know, Eddie Kingston, like his life goal, his his life goal was achieved in winning the Ring of Honor title and the Strong Openweight title, and he just put them up in a tournament? They were aghast. And in fact, like, can you imagine him doing that and losing? It doesn't even make any sense to me. So I think he's winning the entire thing. And then my other prediction is this MJF and Samoa Joe against the Devil's Henchmen. We don't even know who these henchmen are, okay? 
I think there's a possibility that MJF and Samoa Joe are losing these Ring of Honor tag team titles. You want to know why? Because MJF is still doing his storyline, the bidding war of 2024, and his his claim that his deal is up on January 1st, okay? So I think that they want you, the listener and the viewer, to think that this is real and that therefore they must get these belts off MJF just in case. So I think that he's going to lose the Ring of Honor tag team titles, which will also make you, the viewer and listener, think that he's also going to lose the world title to Samoa Joe, because we got to get those belts off him just in case. But I believe he will beat Samoa Joe, and then whatever they're going to do, they're going to do. But I, th- I think there's a decent chance we have a Ring of Honor tag team title change on Wednesday. Who's going to be under the masks? I don't know if we'll know yet. I don't know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll reveal the devil. My guess is they'll reveal the devil at the pay per view. That would be my guess. I think that MGF is going to beat Samoa Joe, and then we'll find out who the devil is. That'll be the big reveal at the end of the year. Maybe he'll be so mad he'll be forced to resign because of what this guy did. Anyway, back in a moment with more Observer Live. Aloha to all my friends out. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> he shook his fist at me. I put the finger up first, but then I oh. didn't know if that's even allowed. You're not allowed to flip the bird on national radio. <laughs> okay. We could get in big trouble for that one. So anyway, I got World's End coming up December 30th. We have MJF Samoa Joe, Tony Storm versus Riho, Christian Cage versus Adam Copeland. It ain't no DQ match for the TNT title. Continental Classic Finals of John Moxley and Eddie Kingston. Julia Hart versus Abaddon for the TBS title. Yes, Abaddon is getting a... That's like her gimmick. Vanish for months on end, get title shot, lose, and then somehow get another one, well, and then lose and vanish. They brought her back for Halloween season. And Hook versus Wheeler Yuta for the FTW title with FTW rules. It's the ECW style match. Orange sold the knee, which is he got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked. Matt Menard on said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's What's probably it ROH. Are you smoking or what's what? happening here? I don't, what the fuck? What is, is happening? I have no Bro, clue. what is this? <laughs> dude? I think there's not, I've changed nothing. Smoking is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need <laughs> right. to do it on the air. What is happening here? God. I, I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors, too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the hell's flashing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I everyone's saying, this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh, my God. Maybe you open them. What is... There we go. The sun moved. Well, uh, yeah, the sun actually. The no. Old... Oh. <laughs> okay. The sun will continue to move, <laughs> and then we'll be able to see again. We then had uh, Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.